goggles that he is wearing. He's had a detached retina and a torn retina. Actually, had surgery after the detached retina, and after discussing it with his parents, who were obviously very concerned about this and wrestling close by, close body, full contact. He came up with his goggle theory, and it's been working for him. You're looking at the the Lehigh coaching staff, excuse me, is. Greg Strobel and Gary McCoy, the 2000 Olympian, and you can bet they have a strong impact on Trenge's style. He was a good one coming in, but quality coaching helps. And Lehigh's been one of the surprise schools here at the championships, sending two to the championship round. Troy Letters, of course, an outstanding wrestler on the team. Penn State. And you can bet they have a big influence on this run of Lehigh upperweights. Wouldn't be surprised if they recruit a good heavyweight by next year as well. Round out that Lehigh squad. They're going to be contenders. So Lehigh has made an impact and, uh, and a lot of excitement in Pennsylvania over this wrestling program, which uh, had struggled over the last few years. After Turner, it was a great program, then it kind of died, but Greg Strobel's brought in some great coaches, obviously some great talent, and they are cooking, and I think next year they'll have an impact. When you have a coach like Strobel, that attracts wrestlers because they know of his reputation, his skill at coaching, what he's done professionally, right? And he's an Olympic coach, so he's certainly got great credentials both collegiately and freestyle. So Lehigh looking for a championship and rebuilding a program. Exciting times in Pennsylvania for Lehigh wrestling. Stay on it, stay on it. Circle, circle. And Damian Hahn, he's had a pretty good run here. Two fifth place finishes. Two-time All-American now in the finals. I'm talking to Jay Robinson before the semis, I said, you know, do you think Damian has a chance and he goes oh yeah we're counting on him to be in the finals and he was able to defeat Lau from Oklahoma State they kind of gave Minnesota hope that they could still be in the team race but OSU qualified 10 guys here and that's just there was two more than Minnesota had and those two people really made it tough for Minnesota as well as how well OSU performed a fifth place finish by Lewis fourth by Sanders third by Roller third by Pendleton and third by Lawell, and that was just too much to overcome for the Golden Gophers, the two-time team champions. Move your feet. That's it. A lot of shots like that. Make your move. Last year, Hahn was a semifinal loser to Josh Lambert. This year, at 19 and 3, a scoreless first period thus far. Damien was a highly recruited wrestler coming out of New Jersey. Nothing yet. As long as Damien, oh, he let go of the rock. And then he trends will score. And he'll try to keep Damien Hahn down for these final seconds of the first period. As long as he keeps that ankle, he's all right. He deals it. So Trench has the first two points of the match. Trench studying environment rather by Jake Rochelt at 184. Bobby Wall, the Oklahoma wrestler at 174 with a championship. Trench lifting Damian Hahn, knocking him down, and comes right back up. Minute 43 left in the second. We've already crowned a number of champions. As you look into the Lehigh corner. See those scoreboards off to the right corner of your screen. That's what most of the fans here in the Kemper Arena are focused in on when they're not watching the wrestling directly. Lehigh leading 2-0. John Trends, the number one seed against the number six seed, Damian Hahn of Minnesota. Trends needs to be careful here. He can get a warrant for stalling, not trying to return a man to the mat. And he cuts him loose. Escape point for Hahn, 2-1. So our champions thus far, Travis Lee kicked it off 125 pounds from Cornell, then Johnny Thompson of Oklahoma State, Tion Ware at 141 from Oklahoma, Eric Larkin from Arizona State, Ryan Burton of Michigan, Matt Lackey of Illinois, Robbie Waller of Oklahoma, as I mentioned, Jake Rochelt at 184 from Oklahoma State. 
So both Oklahoma schools get two champions. And you know something? I have to bring it up because anyone who has watched this telecast through the years knows where's Iowa? Uh, they're coming up in the heavyweight division. And they are. And boy, they got a good one, but it's surprising to see them not in the top five. And Iowa so dominant over the last few years, too. They six in a row, what, six in a row, nine six of ten? Six in a row before Minnesota knocked them off, and then from 91 to 2001, they never finished worse than second. And suddenly to be off the board completely. Well, they had a dynasty there for sure in the 90s, first with uh, Dan Gable, then Jim Zaleski. But now maybe maybe you're right. Maybe parody has become part of uh, wrestling. Okay. And Both most nationally. programs hit a secular cycle where you might have a down year, but... I was not used to down years. And a lot of talk about the Iowa program. They've got some good recruits. they got people in there. So next year it'll be an interesting to see how Iowa comes back. Third period about to begin. John Trench with a 2-1 advantage. Trench with riding time of 52 seconds. Trench, a two-time Pennsylvania state champion, 145 and 16 in high school. That was as if uh, Trench was allowed to escape. Yeah, he cut him loose. He's he cut him loose immediately. Need. Well, if you can't turn the guy on the bottom, there's no sense trying to keep him down because you're trailing. You're going to lose if you don't turn him. So let him do his feet and look for that takedown point. And Hodge got a shot. What a beautiful changeoff. He was in with an inside trip and then switched off to a high crouch and drilled Trench into the mat. It's three to three with a minute 24. And he's tied it up. I expect him to cut him loose again. Let's look at that here. He'll start with a right leg inside trip. Trench steps off right there and he switches beautifully to that lift, dumping Trench down. And here he cuts him loose again. Look for him to look for another takedown. So Trench back in the lead for three. Got 42 seconds of riding time. Not enough to earn a point. Lehigh doesn't want to lose another here. They'll be shut out in the finals. And Greg Strobel screaming, you don't want to be in an underhook. And he's encouraging Trench to do a sweep single back leg. So he's going to go after Han's left leg, the back leg. That's it. That's it. Under a minute remaining. Hands, hands, Lehigh leading 4-3 and John yes. Trench trying to win a national championship. And again, Damian Hunt forcing that left underhook, something the coaches don't want Trench in. Last year, a loser to Cale Sanderson was John Trench. He lost to him three times last year, Mike, and one of them was at the All-Star Classic, the National Wrestling Coaches Association All-Star Classic. Jay Robinson of Oklahoma encouraging Damian High, and he lost just 6-1 to one to Sanderson, and the match was in doubt all the way to the end. Final 20 seconds now. Han really pushing Trenz now. Oh, he tries to duck under there, but couldn't get it. Trench just trying to hang on and stay in bounds to kill time, and they're out. 11 seconds now. It's do or die for Damian Hahn. 11 seconds left, down by a point. Hands are down! Hands are down! Hands! Strobel yelling, hands down. Keep your hands down so we can't get a blast shot in. Oh! Second reversal there by Damian Hahn. I mean, he reversed the trend of the match in a 5 4 advantage. Three seconds left. It's not over. He did the same thing to Lalo last night, getting a last second takedown to clinch the match, and here he does it in the finals. Trench had a lead to the final seconds. And Damian Hahn, two amazing finishes in the semis and now here for the championship. And Jay Robinson told me before the semifinal match they expected Hahn in the finals to do well, and he got there and he did well. Damian Hahn, what a finish. And what a great way for the Golden Gophers here to end this national championship.